night, small town America. Here we are Thursday night coming to you. Just uh, going to let you know kind of what we've been into for the past week, what's going on. Uh, but first of all, I have to say thank you uh, to everyone uh, because small town America, we're starting to get our fan base going. Uh, we're starting to get out there. We actually now have the website up to going. So you can go to smalltown-america.org. That's our website. You can catch all the shows over there. Uh, in fact, this this whole uh, episode today, that's it's about unity. It's about uh, unifying, standing together, uh, because this past week, uh, we had the opportunity uh, to be able to go down to Menelopian, Texas, to uh, the set of The Chosen. And, you know, I've been honored because I've kind of been that guy that's kind of been in the background and on the on the sidelines when Dallas Jenkins and Chad, all of them were putting putting the chosen together over at Capernaum Studios, trying to get season one off off the ground. And here they are now getting ready to get geared up to get season four. And they have their own campus now, and it is just amazing. Uh, we were over there for a different project, but we had a chance to be there and see the site, uh, see the sets, see everything that they're they're building over there. And the chosen campus is just, um, man, hats off to those guys. Y'all are just doing an amazing job over there. And uh, let me just show you, these are the chosen sets in Middle Opian. You ever get a chance to, uh, if they open it up and they do a tour or they have something going on, really get by there and just see, see these sets. It's just amazing. Yeah, so there it is, the chosen sets, and the videos do not do it justice. I am telling you, uh, James Cunningham, uh, Clayton, uh, BJ, all the crew, all the people behind the scenes that don't ever get credit, 
uh, hats off to you guys. I'm telling you, if you could just see the the the, the attention to detail, uh, there saw some of those horse heads. Those are handcrafted, hand carved, uh, etched. The uh, just stuff coming in from all over the world, doors and windows. It's just amazing to see that set over there, and you know the thing that is, like I said, is kind of an honor to kind of watch that come together. Uh, is you take something that's just a concept and hey, can we make this happen and get past season one? Now they're getting ready to do season four, and that's because of you, the fan. the The fans have made that you, the chosen army, have made the chosen. You've unified together and said, hey, this is the content that we want. And so for Dallas and all of that team over there, what an amazing job. The campus is beautiful. The sets are beautiful. And we just wish you continued success. Glad to see season four getting underway. Uh, but we were over there doing another project uh, with uh, Rabbi Jason Sobel, uh, who is one of the spiritual advisors for The Chosen. And he has his own uh, show that he does. It's called The Chosen Unveiled where he breaks down each episode of The Chosen, gives you the uh, biblical and historical Jewish roots from every episode. So got to spend the week, uh, you know, getting him ready and getting into season two. And let me just give you an example of what the, what the Rabbi uh, Jason Sobel's uh, Chosen Unveil show is all about. This is all from season one. Welcome to Capernaum. This may no longer seem like a first century fishing village on the Sea of Galilee, bristling under Roman occupation, but that's because this is just one of the many remarkable sets on which the biblical TV series, The Chosen, was filmed, and which we get to see the lives of Jesus and the disciples in ways we've never seen before. I'm Rabbi Jason Sobel, a Messianic rabbi who has personally had my life changed by a supernatural encounter with Jesus. As a spiritual advisor for The Chosen, I'm excited to explore with you this unique TV series from both a biblical and Jewish perspective. Because when you see how the old and the new come together, that's going to make the Bible come alive for us in even deeper and more meaningful ways. Right, so that that's the project that we were working on is season two of The Chosen Unveiled with Rabbi Jason Sobel. And man, what a blessing I had. Uh, you know, we don't really, I guess, really understand that when we come to Christ, that we are grafted in the vine. So Jews and Gentiles come together, grafted on one vine for the kingdom. Uh, and the way that he breaks it, breaks down and takes uh, takes an episode of The Chosen and says, hey, this, this is what scripture meant. This is what it's about. And then he has a whole teaching that wraps around it. Uh, so yeah, jump on there. Season one's already done. You can go out and you can find it uh, on YouTube. Uh, TBN, thefusion.com uh, is where that's going. And then we've got uh, everything for season two uh, done. And we'll get that into the editing. And we're looking forward for season three, season four. As long as the chosen's going, then then we have we have a place for uh, rabbi to uh, do his teachings and it's amazing uh, and again too that's you the fans uniting together and saying this is the content that we want this is what we want to see and that gives us all an opportunity uh, to try to put that together and, and give you uh, the quality and, and the quantity and all the content that you want so it was a blessing to be on there it's also a blessing because the team you know Part of small town America is all about protecting our history and preserving our heritage. And you know, uh, we we had Rowdy on here the the other day with the with the animals and how his kids are starting to take over the family business. Well, Jeff Bates was the director for uh, the Chosen Unveiled, and all of his kids, they're all filmmakers also. So. It was a family affair that everybody was involved, uh, sons, daughters, all of that. But I got to meet the final cut bro. Dylan Bates uh, is one of Jeff's sons. Uh, Jeff passing his wisdom and his guidance on down. And Jeff is very successful on his YouTube and teaching. Uh, in fact, let's, let's just catch the, uh, 
little interview that me and Dylan had while we were on the set there uh, at Capernaum Studios. Hey, Small Town America. Here we are back at Capernaum Studios again. You know, Dylan, we had a great week. We were here with Rabbi Jason Stobel doing season two of The Chosen. But I noticed the other day, you're you're the guy. You're the bro. You're the final cut bro. The final cut bro. Under that. So Small Town America is about finding interesting people that are doing motivational, inspirational, or educational deals. And that's what your show's about, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it's about. T- tell them what you do on your show. Uh, well, so I teach video editing for people who want to get involved with Final Cut Pro. And I just break it down episode by episode showing exactly how I would edit TV shows or YouTube videos, pretty much anything under the sun. Right, and so, and you're from Oregon, right? Yeah, straight all, out of Oregon. All, all that came down here to Texas. I hope we treated you right. <laughs> oh yes, sweet, sweet. Some great and now, where can people find you on your your channel, web page? How, how can they how can they watch your videos? Just look up at the Final Cut Bro on basically anything, and you'll find me, except for TikTok. What about the shirt? Can they buy <laughs> the, the shirt? shirt? They can't get the shirt. I have Final the- Cut Bro's got a picture of his face on it. It's right there on the shirt. You got to go there, get it, tune in, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next segment. Yeah, so Dylan Bates, the Final Cut Pro. Uh, yeah, he has a T-shirt. That, that was the whole thing. We were all down there on, on, on set. And he comes down there with his shirt on. There's got a picture of his face right there on the chest. And we're like, hey, you're the Final Cut Pro. But, I mean, he really does have an educational uh, YouTube channel where he breaks down. So if you're an editor and you're using Final Cut Pro, uh, and you're having some difficulties or, or needing some guidance or not quite sure what I'm doing with the program, go over to and check out his YouTube channel, subscribe to it, uh, and uh, check out some of his tips. Uh, in fact, here I pulled off this right here just so you get an idea of what the Final Cut Bro, Dylan Bates, uh, and his channel is all about. Most effects found in Final Cut Pro are object trackable. However, an effect that is not object trackable that I really think should be is the draw mask effect. So today I'm going to show you a workaround so that you can make all of your draw masks completely object trackable in Final Cut Pro. Let's say I want to add a draw mask that follows our photographer here. What we can do is go over to our generators and look up the custom generator. I'm just going to apply that on my timeline and I'm going to trim it down with option right bracket. With our custom generator selected, we can come down to the effects browser and look up the draw mask effect. I'm going to double click to apply that. Then I'm going to push V to disable the custom generator. From there, with the draw mask selected, we can go ahead and create a shape around our photographer. Now the best part about this workaround is we can make this any shape we like. So if you needed to create a really complex draw mask, you could do just that and it's going to work just fine. And now I'm going to go ahead and close off this custom shape. From there, I'm going to come down to the transform tool, which I can also achieve with shift T. Then going to the top, we're going to select the tracker and drag the tracker over the object we want to track. At the top left, we'll go ahead and push analyze and allow Final Cut Pro to do its analyzing magic. From there, we can re-enable the custom shape and see how it tracks along in our scene. If your tracking looks good, you can come up to the top right and push done. Now all we need to do is select the custom generator and find our blend mode options. Change it from normal over to stencil alpha. What this will do is tell Final Cut Pro that wherever there is an alpha channel with this custom shape, it will actually cut out the underlying layer. Now you'll notice a problem. While we do have this draw mask shape, it is not revealing our minimal background that is lying underneath everything. So there are two very simple ways to fix this problem. The first way is to select both your custom layer and your tracked layer, right click and select new compound clip. Then we can just call this whatever we like and push OK. From there, you'll see that we now have a perfectly cut out background. However, if for some reason you don't want to apply anything into a compound clip, all you need to do is drag your background up on top of all of the layers in your layer stack, then change the blend mode from normal over to behind. And now that layer is going to be behind everything just as you would expect. If this video was helpful to you, you really might want to consider checking out this video where I show how to remove objects by creating a clone stamp tool. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Right, so that's Dylan Bates, the Final Cut Pro. Uh, 
uh, does all the tutorials for Final Cut Pro, has his own channel. And, and it's one of those things, guys, that you say, hey, what do I have that God can use and multiply that's going to be educational, motivational, or inspirational? And that's one of the things. Hey, uh, his dad, uh, Jeff Bates, he said was the director. The kids are down there. He's passing, the, passing his heritage, his wisdom, his guidance, and his knowledge of filmmaking down to his kids. Uh, Dylan has embraced uh, the editing side of, of the process and has now turned it onto a successful YouTube channel where he's teaching other people. So it's just that's part of that. We say we're, we're going to preserve our heritage. Our heritage is passing down. Uh, our wisdom and our guidance to our kids and to the next generation, passing that torch is what our forefathers uh, tried doing. And, you know, again, too, here we were at Capernaum Studios. Just love Tammy and the crew. Uh, all of those guys over there treated us real well. Uh, we were there with the rabbi. And they have uh, the Crimson Experience coming up Easter weekend, April 7th and 8th. Grab your tickets. They're selling out fast. But uh, I've just got to give them a shout out, and here's their little ad uh, for the Crimson Experience. Hey guys, I'm Tammy Lane, founder of Capernaum Studios and director of the Crimson Experience. This Easter weekend, we have the biggest production of the Crimson ever. We have added scenes, special effects, and some awesome vendors. You won't want to miss it. This is the perfect event to bring your friends and family to because we present the gospel message in a unique and experiential way. For sponsorship, Casting and volunteer opportunities, go to CapernaumStudios.com. Yeah, so you don't want to miss the Crimson Experience. Uh, amazing. Uh, as you heard on one of the previous shows, you know, it's not just a live experience, it's, it's a walkthrough. Uh, immersion experience so you get sucked right into uh first century you're right there with jesus carrying the cross uh the resurrection it is amazing amazing uh event for the family tickets are selling out fast they're also needing volunteers if you want to get involved in a great uh project then get over there uh burnham studios dot com they'll take care of you so it's like just talking about the uh, Uniting together with with the chosen, you make the chosen army. Uh, the same way we continue to unite together with small town America. But the other thing that I'd like to ask you to do is get a hold of your state representatives. If you're in Oklahoma and Texas, uh, they in Oklahoma they're going to pass the bill 968, and here in Texas we want them to pass the bill 763. These are two very very important bills, especially for the state. Because they're going to allow private or public schools to hire full-time chaplains for their Catholics. This is this is huge uh, for Oklahoma and Texas because now we can put a spiritual uh, influence back in our schools. We can have a chaplain full-time on campus uh, to be there as a spiritual guide, a spiritual leader, not only for the students but also for the faculty. You know, sometimes we don't we, we look about our students, but we forget about the teachers and the faculty that are there. And then the other thing that Small Town America we're really excited about and we're looking forward to is on June 2nd and 3rd, right here in Dallas, we have the Great American Summit coming up. Amazing event. It's, again, too, about unifying. United we stand. And that's what it's about. It's not a political event. It's an American event about uh, the red, white, and blue. We're all getting together, and we're just having a two days, three days of fun. Uh, we're going to recognize the first responders, recognize our veterans. We're going to find uh, some amazing speakers that's going to be talking about what we can do uh, in our businesses, in our homes, and in our communities, how we can unite together and just build stronger and better communities. And let me just show you, uh, here's just a short video of uh, what the Great American Summit's all about.
if we look to the answer as to why for so many years we achieved so much, prospered as no other people on earth, it was because here in this land we unleashed the energy and individual genius of man to a greater extent than has ever been done before. Men and women who raise our food, patrol our streets, man our mines and factories, teach our children, keep our homes, and heal us when we're sick. Professionals, industrialists, shopkeepers, clerks, cabbies, and truck drivers. Their patriotism is quiet but deep. Their values sustain our national life. They are, in short, we the people. Let us renew our determination, our courage, and our strength. And let us renew our faith and our hope. We are a nation under God. And I believe God intended for us to be free. To believe that together, with God's help, we can and will resolve the problems which now confront us. And after all, why shouldn't we believe that? We are Americans. That's right. The Great American Summit coming to Dallas June 2nd and 3rd. Right there, go go to uh, greatamericansummit.com uh, and uh, get your tickets because this is this is going to be a fun event. Like I said again, too, it's not we're not endorsing any candidates. We're not uh, making a big political deal, but it's just about real Americans getting together uh, and loving on one another, encouraging one another, inspiring in one another, motivating one another, acknowledging our first responders, acknowledging our veterans. Uh, and learning what we can do uh, in our in our workplaces, what we can do in our homes, what we can do in our communities, uh, just to, to when united we stand. You know, just united we stand is that that is the theme for tonight. Uh, really want to thank everybody for tuning in again. Uh, remember to go to to smalltown-america.org. That's our new website. Uh, then if if you have an interesting place you want us to come by, uh, you want to get interesting business, interesting people, just let us know. We want to get in the truck. We want to come see you. Uh, but that's going to pretty much wrap us up. I try to keep it around 25 to 30 minutes each week. Just coming to you, just to show you some love, tell you uh, we're going to make it through it, guys. Just coming, coming in to you. So we'll see you next Thursday. We're getting in the truck. <laughs>